Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the Cool Cat Gang. We're here. We have some Super Mario 64, the 70 star open Nintendo 64 Division S. We have Cheesy Leech and Soda who will be racing. And then me in the booth, we've got Anime. How you doing? Yo, what's up? One and only Mr. Watt. How you doing, my guy? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well myself. Not too bad. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see some more Mario racing along as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, we should have both runners with us. So Cheesy Leech, how are you feeling today? Okay. Oh, uh, should we be starting the race? I'm no, sorry. not yet. Not quite yet. Okay. <laughs> you both, you both ready up a little bit prematurely. Yeah, <laughs> Just too antsy. Um, uh, yeah, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't played any Mario in a week, and I haven't even practiced today. But uh. You know, we're just going to wing it. No, some days definitely oh. do be like that. Yep, so we're going to get a new race time out for both of you as well. Um, I think Soda's just still going, so we need to wait for Soda to actually acknowledge. Oh. Soda, 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 can we get you to um, just reset really quick? we got to start again. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. The good news is that I'm pretty sure both of you probably have a clean save file, but we should go back to the file select screen just to make sure. Yeah. Just to make sure, but yeah, we've got a new race time up for double boys, or you know, however you want to call it. <laughs> But yeah, um, so in that case, it looks like both runners are just eager to get into the race. So um, jump into the new race time, get yourself ready, and we'll just kick things off. So yeah, and we'll speak to you guys Thank after. You. <laughs> it's all right, you know, sometimes you just can't wait to get that Mario moving. Can't blame you. It is very exciting. <laughs> Graham, all right. Soda. So, no, we haven't heard from you yet. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling about this race? Yep, so Soda says they're feeling kind of nervous. So they're, they're typing whatever that goes, goes on. So they're kind of nervous, honestly, but whatever happens, I guess. Um, so both these runners are in Redemption Road. This is the last of the losers' brackets. Whoever wins this will be facing off against Wilco. Um, I'm pretty excited for that match. I, uh, I'm definitely a big Wilco fan. I've, I've uh, seen Wilco do some incredible, like, really hardcore grinding. And honestly, it's a, it's a really nice morning stream to have. But not quite here for that. But yes, the winner of today's bracket will be going on to face Wilco. Absolutely. So yeah, both runners ready up in the new race time lobby. Once the timer hits zero, reset. And we'll be good to go. Oh, cool, the countdown man. is starting. Good luck, Soda. All right, they should both be off now. Me, Mario. Hello. All right, we've got both runners now hey, Mario. heading on in to the Princess Peach letter watching party. <clears throat> Always a good time. <clears throat> and here we are once again with the most watched opening video game cutscene on Twitch twice. Woo! You weren't getting you weren't getting away with me not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you can never escape the Princess Peach letter viewing party. It's always here. It's always around. Yeah, so I'm very excited to see this as well. So, to give a bit of backstory, um, so Cheesy Leech came up against Frostbite and was unfortunate enough to lose out there. Soda lost out to Benji. So, you know, they're, they're, we're in the S division here, so, you know, there's a lot up for grabs here. There's still a chance for glory. There's still a chance for winning. Um, S for special. You know, it is above the yeah. A division. It is, which is weird because A becomes before S in the 
out for that. But you know what's so funny? This is very, very unrelated. But when I was a kid and I was playing a Disney's DDR. I got an S rank, and the guy next to me got an A rank, and I'm like, "Oh, you did better than me." Because <laughs> again, why why is S higher than A? I don't know. Oh no, Soda with the small bomb. Still gets it though. Both runners collecting the star. Not much of a time difference there. Now, if you'll notice, I believe if I saw correctly, Cheesy Leech is on the Japanese cart here. Soda gonna be on the English cart and we're gonna see some route differences here. Cheesy Leech gonna be going for the nice casual Womps 8 while Soda gonna be going for your more traditionally seen Womps 9. Well, you know, it's one of those sort of things. Um, I think we learned it's second difference if you've got decent movement. So, I'm, I'm, I've got no, no thing either way, one way or the other. But we're getting a nice little texture set up here from Cheesy Leech. And it connects as well. First try. You love to see it. Yo, we got a 12-7 on the slide from Soda. That's pretty rad. Yo, that was a very actually... speedy slide. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we should be seeing an Owlus now from Cheesy Leech, if I'm correct. Yeah. Setting up for the nice standard triple jump. Going to be making it in there. No bonks on the cage today from Cheesy Leech. Soda now into Womps. Also a texture setup. And we'll be good. A very nice cannonless first try from both runners. Always nice to see. Missing candles list is honestly just kind of a minor pain. Yeah, you can pack it up quickly with Wild Blue over here, but ah, it just does not feel good. Now we've got a nice Owlus here from Soda, and that's going to just barely make it in. Holy moly. Cheesy Leech going to be missing that coin on the way down, but should not be too much of an issue here. Has the eight coins over here, as well as the first ten both, coins. Yeah, over both here. rows available, so it's going to be fantastic for them. Soda as well going for a route that doesn't incorporate all ten coins at the beginning, which we kind of expect when you're at the sub-50 pace as well. Dude, Super Mario 64 at sub-50 is just an absolute treat to watch. Never in my life do I see people moving the Mario in this game this fast and just go, oh my gosh, it's amazing. No, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. We're now seeing how the 100 coins is going to go for Soda. Seems pretty clean Jeez. so far. Cheesy having a lot of trouble getting up to the Womp King for some reason. And so did so having, having some trouble some with coins. those ledges too. <laughs> Gosh. Ooh, ledges wait. already. It's alright. I think, you know, both the runners have even said, you know, they're a bit nervous, not know what to expect. One of them hasn't even practiced for a week. So who knows what we can expect coming forward from this. That angle jumping off the tree scares me every time that Soda does. I just, I just never trust it. It's, it's a very sketchy angle. A lot, a lot of runners jump off of the tree like that when it's time to get wild blue. And it's, it's certainly an angle to get used to, that's for sure. No, absolutely. Right, what do we have left? Ah, so Cheesy Leech going for shoot into the wild blue last. Classic. I normally thought people did that before they did um, 
the womp and the tower. Alright, double slide time from Cheesy Leech. Can we get some predictions going in the chat for slide times? I think I'm going to go with uh, maybe a 12-8 from Cheesy Leech for the first one. I'm going to go 12-9. Nice bunk there on the wall. All right, up 12, with a nice seven. 12 7. Very L fancy. Let's go. All right, so Oops. Soda is just in the lead now as our roots converge. I see Soda. I'm going to say I'm going to say 12 9 this time just for grins and giggles. And uh, I'll give Cheesy Leech another 12-8. Oh, 12-6! Let's Very go! Very nice there. Very nice from Soda. Missing that ground pound on the box. And another 12-7 for Cheesy Leech. Soda not having the best ground pounds in the world, unfortunately. Both runners with some nice lag reduction strats there. Soda going to be missing the first two red coins, unfortunately. Whereas Cheesy Leech will be able to get it. You will see there is an active amount of time difference just from missing those two coins as you see Soda having it to line up with this button a little more and it's going to miss the text box skip as well. Woo-wee! Just like that, those two small mistakes is going to put Cheesy Leech for sure in the lead at heading into Dark World here. Yeah, no, absolutely. And remember, guys, these runners going into Dark World, there's a lot of pressure on these guys because this is, not only is it Redemption Road, it is the first stage of Redemption Road. So it is, from this point, whoever wins this could get eliminated at any point. Whoever loses this is, loses this, is eliminated. So I'm hoping we're going to see some more risky strats from these runners. I'm hoping to see more consistent movement as time goes on as well. And as always, we hope for no meltdowns, but maybe a death and die. Easy Leech gonna get amped there, unfortunately. Gonna be missing a cycle. It, it, it's a, just a bit of movement, like cleaner rollout movement there from Cheesy Leech. We're nearly like synced up on the star animations. It's fantastic. There is beautiful less than a second between the two of them. Right, we've got that Bowser throw from Soda. We've got that Bowser throw from Cheesy Leech. Now the question is, will we see the dab from Cheesy Leech? I think at this point, if we don't, it's very disappointing. But, you know, that's just me personally. <laughs> All right, both going off now to get their 13th star. Yeah, just that one amp genuinely being the difference between the times here. Soda ahead just because of that. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to go on. This is a very close race. Um, oh, Soda. Soda takes a bonk where you don't expect bonk. Oh my gosh, dude. Is it going to be like wow. this all race? Because that would be pretty epic. Oh my goodness, I'm it's sick. like we're seeing double. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Off by like maybe a frame. We've got a synced star grab here on the skybox jump. Beautiful! Oh my, this is what you like to see. This is how 
and even both runners having a small bit of an issue. Like Soda, like when I say small bit of an issue, we're talking frames here. Soda is taking the lead by another few frames. Like this is less than a second. Holy moly! Both runners gonna be going for wall kicks. Will work here with the pro strats. Both. Soda getting takes the wall the jump, bonk. but Soda bonking. And again. Twice. Woo! That was a pretty neat dive into the star. Incredibly risky. Yeah, but now Cheesy Leech definitely has the lead by, not by much, a few seconds, if that. But it's enough to make a difference. We know Cheesy Leech, just by going into the slide straight away here, is going to be doing a CCM 18 route. As will Soda, so no double plus from these runners. Gets Very nice, nice move walk from Cheesy Leech. Oh, and the really clean moonwalk from Soda there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Runners just absolutely putting on a show for us today. Both runners getting ready. For their 100 coins plus the snowman or big penguin race. But I say, if you're racing snowman a snowman down from. that, if you're racing that snowman down the slide, you're in trouble. True. <laughs> <laughs> no backup coin from Cheesy Leech or from oh Soda. Gosh. Cheesy aiming for perfection here. Same with Soda. Now, just to remind everyone what this means both runners can only afford to miss one single coin on the slide. If they miss anything more than that, they can no longer do this quickly. They will have to go back down the slide and re-race the penguin. Soda! Oh, Soda missing. missing the jump! Soda showing why sometimes it is worth getting that backup red. In fact, even the backup red wouldn't have helped in that situation. Oh my gosh. So, Very so unfortunate that A-Press just getting completely obliterated. Yep, so Soda's options here is basically going to be to re-race the penguin. Um, getting the red coins to get the 100 coin star before going back up and then going from there. Alternatively, you never know. Soda could just do a CCM 17 route as a backup. How confident are they in Plex? Looks like he is, in fact, going to warp back up here and once again race the Pengu. Yeah, now this is this is one of those sort of things where... Now, when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, it's about a star difference by missing it this way. Because the length of time for the Penguins on its own... You, I mean, you had the opportunity to also do the skip um, in the Penguin race, which Soda has opted not to do. How much time um, does that skip actually save? I'm, I'm it's it's a few sure. seconds. It's not much. But it's, it, again, in a race format, it's enough to make a difference. Soda with the first year on the wall. Nice. Cheesy Leech going to be heading out of CCM first here and over to Boo's Big Haunt. Just a very unfortunate series of events there for Soda. Yeah, but it's not over till... I almost said it's not over till the fat lady sings. Um, the Bowser. It's not, o not over till the fat Bowser sings. That's what yeah. we're going to go for. Yeah. Yeah. And again, there might be a relative difference from the PBs. Almost an entire minute. But this is not only a race. It is a Super Mario 64 race. Anything can happen in these races. Yeah, like you may come across an invisible wall in the lobby because let's face it, them invisible walls, they're pretty RNG. They seem to crop up out of nowhere so often. But whilst both runners here are going to be in BBH, um, 
just to remind everyone that the 70 star division s for n64 also gets a lot of these people runners you will see again in the pro league which will be coming up um at some point in the near future it is a community funded prize pool and by using the link i've just put into the chat you can help contribute to that prize pool um so if you've got any spare change want to help support these runners give them something to fight for it's currently a 420 dollars at the moment and i'd love to see that value go up so if you can please do give and as always give responsibly i would like to see it go up too personally i know i know people like for like they really they really like hanging on to what they call you know the funny number but like people overdo it would love to see it get past 420. Yeah, I would. It would also stop us blaming one person for ruining the 42069, which I'm not going to name names today. But we <laughs> really, really need to get past it before someone else mentions it. <laughs> Pillarless from Cheesy Leech here. Looking good and going to hop right into that pyramid. No fall of shame either. Fantastic. Very nice movement to the door there by Soda. Yep, Soda's getting some clean movement here. One, they can get clean Mips grab, which, again, at this level, I wouldn't be expecting to see a Mips meltdown. Um, so we're about a two-star difference. We'll see how Soda's pillarless goes. As long as Soda can have a clean pillarless, the gap will remain very similar. However, a failed pillarless here is going to increase that gap between the two runners and will make a very big difference. Here you go. We got the large bomb grab. We're going to be going for Tama, which and will actually it. save a couple seconds. And in Soda goes. Woo wee! Very, very clean pillarless and star grab here for Soda. I'm gonna save him a little bit of time there over Cheesy Leech as we see Leech hopping right into Lethal Lava Land. And again, the Lethal Lava Land is a stage where everything can go wrong. Um, if you go straight for Lava Boost first and you don't get it, you kind of feel like you're stuck there. Um, Cheesy Leech showing exactly what I mean by going for Lava Boost, but manages Ooh. to connect. So, you know what? Fair play. One more star in the Shifting Sandlands for Soda, and he's going to be out of there. Cheesy Leech going to hop into the Volcano for one more star. Yeah, it's very interesting seeing someone doing Volcano first. Uh, normally, we see people do Volcano either at the end, or they do, it, they do the Bullies, then the Volcano, and then they get the two closest. It's not often we see a Volcano first lethal lock. Soda with a clean movement over the log. It's going to take the fun wall bonk into the star. I, I think it's a very funny animation to watch. It is. It's like, what are you bonking on? Ah, you know, just thin air. Just thin air. It's not a problem. It's like, um, it's like when people bonk into the pot to grab the moon in Luncheon Kingdom and SMO. So right, now, see, now, in the volcano. now you're talking about some you're talking about something I don't understand there. Um, <laughs> barely, just barely making that lava boost. Oh my gosh. And in answer to the question in chat, no, there isn't really anything that saves time by doing specific stars first. It all comes down to it all comes down to comfort of the streamer. Or the racer, sorry. Um, you know, if you're confident in all six stars, you can go for them in any order. It's not going to make any difference. Yeah, I think, especially on N64, there's only a couple of stages where the choice of what stars you get really matters straight away. 
Um, but even then, it's not much that's that much of a big issue. I'm trying to think of what stages it does matter in. Womps, yes. Um, so obviously you have the different spawns in, so that's more entities. DDD, I suppose that's why we do chests first. SSL, it can make a different for tornadoes. Is that really relevant in a 70-star run, though, for the stars you get? And again, I'm asking the question because I don't know. But yes, if you go into the volcano first and you keep dying, it's either a game over or a you need to finish. So, But here we go, Cheesy Leech making their way into Dire Dire Docks. Okay, it only matters if you double press. Awesome. Thank you very much for that one. Clean bullies, absolutely, from Soda. Soda is going to go in for one final star, and then we'll be making their way to Dire Dire Docks, along with Cheesy Leech, who's going to be looking for some clean chests. No, and swims are really, really important in Super Mario 64. Might not sound like a lot, but if you get those perfect swims, Mario moves so much faster than the standard swimming in this game. Oh, absolutely. And especially on N64, because when you are dealing with things like lag reduction, um, you have to time your inputs based on that lag as well. Whereas when you play on emulator, you don't really have to worry about that. But I can, you know, if you're on emulator, you don't even need to look at the screen, really, to get perfect swims. But we're on N64 at the moment, so it becomes very important. Oh, Cheesy Leech getting held up just a smidge there. Yep. Looks like we're setting up for rear sub. No front sub shenanigans. Very nice camera movement to reduce the lag there. And an excellent chest from Soda. Very, right. very nice swimming. It's crazy though, chat can ask questions and I just sometimes just do not know the answer and it shocks me, especially after speedrunning and watching speedruns of this game for as long as I have. And yet still learning more every single day. I enjoy learning. Learning is a lot of fun. Looks like Soda gonna be setting up for a front sub. Oh, oh, not getting the front sub either. Just not quite the right angle there. Okay, we're seeing how things that make. Hmm? Go on. No, go on. Carry on. All right. One of the one of the things that makes the front sub really hard is when you're looking at directly onto that sub. There are so many polygons on there. It makes the console start to lag, and it's really hard to time your jumps there. Oh, absolutely. Right, we're going to see if we're going to get this cycle here. It shouldn't be any issues. No bonk. It looks like the fire sea movement may not be the cleanest, but it's still pretty clean. Oh, missing that leech. Missing coin. the red coin and failing the green demon challenge here as Soda finishes up with the Manta Star. Both runners once again in the same stage at the same time. Cheesy Leech heading into the Bowser fight. All right, so Bowser 2, as we like to call it. Interesting fight. 
providing you can grab the tail straight away. If you can't, it becomes even more interesting with a bit of teleportation. Luckily, we're not going to see any of that from these runners. A nice lava boost. Yo! Oh, Let's go, Soda. Going to be saving some time, getting that nice cycle and the coin. Oh, but missing a little bit of time from the ledge grab there. Jeezy with a very nice Bowser into Fire Sea Soda. <laughs> Gonna be grabbing a ledge. And a... wow. All right. Not quite the ledge you wanted, though. For the ledge you deserved? Soda now into the Bowser fight as Cheesy Leech hops into wet, dry world. And a very clean throw there from Soda. Relatively decent point RNG on those first few boxes for Cheesy Leech. The Strider being pretty nice. Happening to be right by the blue coin box. You love to see it as well. Skeeter RNG is one of those sort of things where you don't really think about it, but in a race, it really does matter. But yes, for those wondering, Soda has somehow managed to catch up a little bit as well, just with some cleaner movement. Oh, um, cheesy. Not quite the best angle on the wall for a wall jump after that triple jump. Yeah, and again, this it's going to be these sort of things. Cheesy Leech needs to keep making these sort of mistakes, whereas Soda just needs to play consistently. As long as, you know... Oh, here we go. Triple. Oh, not taking a fall, though, which is a very, very important thing. One of the risks of taking that trick is you can just fall straight down to the bottom and have to start again. So very lucky there. So not losing that much time, just the... Time lost is just the setup time for Soda. Here we go. Here we go, Cheesy Leech finishing up that wet dry world 100 without too many issues there. Just mostly that wall jump. Soda gonna be hopping back in, starting with looks like top of the town. Might be doing uh, 100 coins last. And unfortunately, gonna be missing that triple jump wall kick once again. Yeah, I think Soda's probably gonna leave um, Shocking Arrows lift for last because it's nice and easy. It's just a quick get out of there. Um, I could be wrong though, but if I was in that situation, I'd probably do 100 coins before that one. Yeah, there we go. Soda going for the 100 coin option. Already missing one coin. So for those of you that do not know, or you're new to Mario speedrunning, in Wet Dry World, the route you grab to get the coins, all the coins from the boxes, the blue coins, the skeeters that you break, and the boxes, you need to get every single one of them apart from one. You can afford to miss one coin. If you miss more than one, but less than four, you have to get a backup box which spawns near the secret star. If you miss more than four, but less than seven, or less than eight, um, there is a second box you can get along this route as well. If you're doing that, you're really losing time. Oh, Soda getting amped! Yeah, and it's little things like this that you kind of want to see from Cheesy Leech to give Soda that opportunity to come back. But unfortunately, Cheesy, uh, Cheesy, unfortunately, Soda is the one having these issues. We're going to see a Cheesy Leech exiting Wet Dry World here and hopping into Tiny Huge Island. A very um, interesting stage, to say the least. At least as far as speedrunning goes. I think um, Tiny Huge Island is kind of the tight. The title of this level is definitely aimed at speedrunners. You know, you don't just have a mistake. You normally have like a tiny huge mistake. <laughs> That's amazing. Love it. 
Yeah, speaking of, Cheesy Leech has finished secrets, leaving two more stars in oh, Tiny Huge Island. Beautiful box break there from Soda. Oh, it was, yeah. Oh, Cheesy Leech! Not gonna be getting that clip initially. We'll try a second time and will not be getting it. That's gonna lose him quite a bit of time here. I'm gonna go around to grab this mountain start. Soda now into THI, both runners once again in the same level at the same time. Soda with the optimal lag reduction strats here. Oh yeah, Soda's definitely being a lot cleaner on the secrets so far. And again, if they can get a clean mountain clip, then <laughs> once again. I just want to talk about that coin there. The reason that coin even exists all alone on its island there is to let the player know that there's a warp there. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I have grabbed the ledge, pulled myself up, and just warped back to the mainland by accident. We go a very clean toe talk from Cheesy Leech here. No toad to violence today. We do have two more toads to talk to. Hopefully, this trend will continue as we head into Tall Tall Mountain. Soda, not too far behind. Gonna be grabbing the Piranha Plant Star. And cleans them up very nicely. Yeah, Cheesy Leech with the nice uh, long jump wall kick into the Waterfall Star. My preferred way of watching people do it as Soda now is going to make their way to not have any toad violence, surely. Beautiful. Fantastic. Always nice to see no toad violence here. Mm hmm. You know, we gotta respect that guy. He's been through, they've been through so many versions of the game, so many things. It's always been there. I mean, so I was shocked. I was casually playing some Mario Odyssey. Um, something I don't normally do. And in Sand Kingdom, there's a bit where you literally shove a hook in him and drag him out of the sand when you're fishing. Like this poor, oh, yeah. these these poor toads get so much abuse. I I almost completely forgot about that. <laughs> and it all starts here where we're punching them. Now remember, even though there's stars here from both runners. Yep, and even though there is a two star difference between these two runners, do not forget that. We still will have Tippy. And that can make or break many a runner. Oh, just some clean movement from both of the runners in this stage. They are making it look so easy. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, did that actually pick up? Big oh, sad. yes, it did. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yikes. We get some prages in the chat for enemies' notes. Um, right. Soda grabbing another mountain star as Cheesy Leech will be finishing up in TTM, making their way to Snowman's Land. This is where we're going to find out if the runners are going to be opting for a TTC 100 route, depending on whether they leave on 52 or 53 stars. However, Soda here is going for one of the more diff- what well, I like one of the more difficult stars in the third easiest stage, as it's known as, but manages to get that box, box roll out without any issues. I like how there's a few different setups for that box star, then and yet it's still complicated, no matter which one you do. Yeah, um, Cheesy Leech getting some very clean head. Very, very good mm. on the pro strats there. Yeah. 
No breeze list from either runner, but do you know what? It's okay. I'm not going to judge them too harshly for it. Oh, Soda takes a fall. Gets up there, falls back down again. That's, again, going to be a little bit of time that Cheesy Leech is now going to be gaining on Soda. It's a very unfortunate moment when you have to fall down there. The wind is not the fastest thing. No, it's really not. I mean, until recently, I was taking that wind instead of mounting clip. Uh, because you can still sub hour using the wind instead of the mounting clip. But it's just, it's eight seconds every time you do it that way instead. Cheesy so Leech getting the hardest start with ease. Soda also opting to go for the pro strat and getting an even cleaner head. Oh, no, that was a bit of a bonk getting Leech. up. That was a bonk getting up there. Was there? There was. There was. It was. It wasn't a clean. Went for the triple jump, um, to get over to the other side of the big gray wall thing, and um, had to reset on it. Oh man, I was just so flabbergasted by the ending movement. The beautiful. ending movement was smooth. Yes. What an excellent star over the frozen pond from Soda mm -hmm. as well. Right. Let's see if Cheesy Leech is going to go for SL Reds. Or are we going to see a TTC 100s? I'd expect it. Yeah, at this stage, I'd be expecting to see TTC 100s. We are in the special division, after all. Division S. Soda able to grab the Deep Freeze star easily as well. Always hate to see a meltdown on the Deep Freeze. Very nice Mips grab from Cheesy Leech as he heads on over to HMC. Surely we will have another clean toe talk and we will. Oh, so wonderful. That's two for two for Cheesy Leech. One more toe talk left. HMC time. Both runners doing TTC hundreds, unless they're opting for Toxic Maze, which should, again I don't think they are. Oh, cheesy! Gonna be missing that triple box jump. Gonna be backing it up with Christmas Miracle here. Are we getting, getting a nice some Mips grab as well. Oh, not connecting on Christmas Miracle. I have to go for the backup. I think the height looked good, but I think it was just a little too left of the button for that one. Soda also with a nice clean toe tuck. That's two for two for both of these runners. Fantastic. Yeah, Christmas is canceled, everyone. Cancel. All right, triple box jump issues. Just Cheesy Leech just can't connect with it for some reason. You hate oh, to see Oh, Soda, it. just, oh, beautiful. Cheesy Leech trying to, oh! oh. Gonna take a bonk into the water. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to get up that hill. I think he technically can. He if you technically... do like frame perfect like that. Not only there, but you, there we go. Woo! Oh my goodness. And with this as well, Soda is able to bring back the gap that was already there. All it's going to take is a clean, clean Christmas miracle. Looking good. Beautiful. Christmas is back on the menu. Get your turkeys ready. I mean, I don't know. What, what meat does everyone else have at Christmas? For me, it's turkey. It's usually turkey. Okay. It's usually turkey. Either the leftovers from Thanksgiving or, you know, you just go out and buy a whole nother turkey. Wait, your Thanksgiving turkey lasts you to Christmas? That's... It depends. Probably That's... not the whole turkey, but it can definitely last for a bit for some uh, nice cranberry turkey sandwiches.
but honestly, definitely some nice sandwiches, some turkey, some cranberry sauce, a little bit of mayonnaise. Mmm, delicious. But anyway, before I get too hungry, 58 stars for Cheesy Lee should be making their way now to Tippy, which can make and break a man. Dodo not going to be that far behind either. Soda absolutely making up some decent time here. Cheesy Leech coming in hot, saying that they forgot what star they were doing. I can only assume that might have been what happened after uh, going for Christmas Miracle to get through that second time and then realizing, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that must have been it. Well, I think, yeah, I think, cause, yeah, missed the bo triple box jump. I thought they were going for some swag movement, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, oh, lackey bounce, lackey bounce. No lackey oh, bounce. Oh, gonna be missing it. Let's back, back that up real quick. Yeah, and it's crazy to think now, this is the difference between the two runners. Very, very little. If Soda can pull out a clean Lakitu jump, like Lakitu bounce, sorry, um, who knows? The lead may change. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the angle from Soda. Apparently, it doesn't matter how I feel. <laughs> grab, 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 grab. You love Yo, to see. Yo, going it. for the faster movement there with the wall kicks. Are we grabbing that star? Nice and easy. Cheesy Leech apparently has no volume either. So he's doing this all on visual cues. No audio. Lack to bounce from Cheesy Leech. Woo! Gonna be getting that grab soda. Setting up oh. for the pro tricky triangles. And gonna be getting that ledge grab. That's beautiful. That's oh, no. not as beautiful. No, it's still savable, actually. It's not a problem at all. That is savable, but not, not quite as beautiful. Okay, both runners on 60 stars. Now, Soda does still have to do red coins, which is one of the longer stars. Um, whereas Cheesy Leech has now done the two longer stars here. Though, providing this movement goes well for Cheesy Leech, which even cleaner than Soda's. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's like butter. I want to I wanna grab that movement and put it on my toast. Delicious. And soda as well with the red coins. Oh my goodness. The difference between these two runners, literally just a stage entrance apart. Yeah. Those mistakes have cost Cheesy Leech and Soda has only gained time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And here we go with the nice movement here for... I don't know the names of this star. I never remember. Uh, swinging it. in the breeze. Swinging in the breeze. Absolutely wild. I like Soda's angle on that long jump way better than Cheesy Leech's. That one was very sketchy to me. Yep. Uh, Cheesy Leech proving to be going for the optimal movement here of TTC 69. Soda being a TTC 70 runner. The moment I say someone's a CTC70 runner, Seren gets involved in chat. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what Soda Star is going to be for this one. Okay, it looks like TTC Hundreds is going to be a final choice for our runners here. Or at least for Cheesy Leech, anyway. Going for Flippies! And it connects! Gonna be waiting a little bit on that clock. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the problem. I think, I think, um, I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I like how Soda has corrected the last word of that sentence. <laughs> Right, let's see how yeah. we go. Okay, five more stars for... Yo, words hard sometimes. Words are very hard. 
Right, here now we, go. we get 100 coins from Soda. Let's see how it goes. Getting a nice triple jump. Mm-hmm. Getting that movement going. Excellent Mario Cam switch there for the blue coins. Not getting that triple jump, unfortunately. But backing it up with a nice side flip. And now we see Cheesy Leech with their TTC 100 attempt. I don't even know which screen to be looking at right now. So they're going to be getting through with plenty of coins to spare. Very nice TTC 100 from Soda. Cheesy Leech, hoping to have a good one as well. Getting that nice glitchy wall kick first try. Yep, so once um, Cheesy Leech is done, they've got one more star here in TTC to do. Um, Soda still has three stars in TTC, but luckily um, should be relatively quick. So, again, it's going to be interesting to see who's actually in the lead when... This is all said and done. Woo! A little bit of sketchiness on Soda's end there, but we'll be getting a hand, no problems. I love Very this wall nice. kick. The wall Very kick nice movement wall is just kicks. so nice. Okay, one more star for Cheesy Leech. Soda has... Two more stars to grab and has to make their way up quite a bit of the clock. So I think Cheesy Leech still has the lead. Oh, the bog from Soda! <laughs> oh my gosh, Soda luckily not falling down too far, but oh my gosh. Bonks and TTC are always uncomfortable. They are indeed. Right, red coins done from Cheesy Leech. Um. And that is CTC done for Cheesy Leech. Just needs to go talk to Toad. Soda here, gonna grab these red coins as fast as he can. Some minor issues there, but looks like it's gonna be just fine. Be you. That's what we like to see here. Cheesy Leech gonna be making their way up the endless staircase that is no longer endless. Um. So wait, this... a, a quick bonk there. <laughs> um, do you know what? I was about to make a pun, and I'm so glad you interrupted me there because it was a terrible one. <laughs> I, I mean, think I, I, I'm I think, a big I fan think, of puns. Yeah, but I think I also made it on Soda's last race as well. So, cheesy leech oh. missing that rollout. Again, it is very little between these two runners now. It is a ledge. It is a climb. This final fortitude that both of our runners will need to overcome to face the final Bowser, take victory in Redemption Road. This could come down to throws. Moving left side from both runners is absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness. Sort of getting a little hung up there on the ledge. And here Long it is. Nope. Oh, it's all done. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. It's coming down to froze, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Into the pipe! And dogs for 100 miles around were able to hear it. A swap drop from Cheesy! Yeah, if Cheesy misses a throw. One from Soda, two, two from Cheesy. Cheesy! Throw, one throw apart! Two oh from Soda! Oh my goodness! And that looks and like that it's will three. Connect. Who knows? Who knows? Soda might be able to grab the star quicker. There's the third one. Woo! DZ might just jump off the ledge by accident. Oh my gosh. What a turn of events here. A 50-39 for Cheesy Leech and a 50-44 for Soda. Wow. 
Wow. Dang. Okay. That was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um... Yeah, so there it is. There we have it. Cheesy Leech looks like they will be taking away and going forward. We're just just double checking it. Yeah, it looks like that is the case. Wow. Just wow. Redemption Road round one, the final matchup. We should have the one at least one of the runners in the booth with us in just a moment's time. But yes, the way it looks at the moment is looks like Cheesy Leech will be making their way across to face Wilco. It was a very, very close race. Uh, Cheesy Hi. Leech, how you doing? I'm feeling great, man. Uh, first of all, GG's to, uh, to Soda on an incredible race fight to the end especially after uh failing ccm 100 and losing like almost a minute on that uh just the resilience and fighting back from that uh definitely played cleaner overall than i did so definitely got to commend him for that yeah no absolutely if it wasn't for that ccm 100 i you you wouldn't we wouldn't be talking to you as the winner of the race right now that's for sure Listen, everybody. yeah um but yeah so I don't know if Soda is going to be talking here, but yeah, but we'll talk about your run whilst I find that out. So you had a very clean run. You had a couple of issues, including Soda no interview. Awesome. You obviously had a couple of issues in regards to some of your movements. We saw some in Wet Dry World. We saw some issues in even like your Lethal Lava Land. The question I've got for you is what makes you do Volcano first in Lethal Lava Land? Uh, I don't know. I, I like to get the hardest stars out of the way in general. I view Lava okay. Boost as probably the hardest star on that level, so I don't know. I just have the, my ways of going about each level, each map, and I don't know. It doesn't. I don't, I don't view it as mattering too much, honestly. Just a matter of habit. I mean, I mean, that was just it was just a curiosity on my part. Um, obviously, yeah, just well played to you. We saw some fantastic movement. Um, you gave us some scares a lot of the times <laughs> in the race as well. Uh, so absolutely fantastic well played to soda as well who again just absolutely fantastic movement obviously there was also a bit of an issue uh in hmc i don't know if you saw yeah. it with um the goes to christmas miracle a second time and then tries to back it up um and unfortunately that lost a bit of time there as well so very unfortunate on that one so yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, go on. no please go on no, yeah i definitely had a bit of a brain fart there also my my game audio for some reason just keeps like Cut, cutting out on mm -hmm. my end so it just definitely threw me for a loop and then had to rely on that backup to get back up to the islands i don't know how much time that cost me but i'd guess at least 20 seconds probably even 30 seconds so. yeah i'm trying to, i'm trying to remember who did what and who to ask questions for what but it was just a close race all around and you both did fantastically soda unfortunately um you will be out of this tournament this time, but hopefully you will be back in for the next time we run this. Cheesy Leech, how are you feeling about your next matchup? I'm excited. I'm excited to play the uh, the legendary Wilco. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to, to share the stage with him. Uh, legend of the uh, the community. And uh, I know some epic stuff usually happens in, in Wilco races. So looking forward to that one. Fantastic. Well, also as well, chat, if you want to, you can try and follow the runners. You can follow the comms. Um, we will have links put up at some point for everyone involved. Make sure you're following the CCG. Don't forget about the 70 Star Pro League. And we will have another matchup coming shortly with, I believe it is, Slothio versus Drop Mania. Um, so, yeah, good luck with, good luck for, well, good luck to your next matchup. Well played to both runners. And in a few minutes, when we'll be back with the next race, we'll see you soon. Thanks again. Peace out, guys.